Good morning, guys. It's Thursday, May 4th, and you're going to have to pardon me because I got bedhead, but I've gotten so many requests last night and today asking about, hey, the, the Fed raised the rates again. What is going on, Shane? I thought they were coming down. So let's talk about a couple of differences here. So number one, the Fed raised the Fed funds rate, and that has to do with overnight lending. So that's going to have a direct correlation with things like HELOCs, car loans, uh, things of that nature, bank to bank uh, loans. So that's overnight lending. Now, mortgage rates aren't attached specifically to this number. There, there are some correlations, but mortgage rates are going to be affected mostly by inflationary numbers, inflationary topics that come out there. So on the contrary to what everybody thinks, when the Fed raises the Fed funds rate, that is actually deflationary in terms. So it's gonna bring, hypothetically, can actually have a benefit for mortgage rates that are really driven by mortgage bonds. Bonds are sold in the market, people putting their money in a safer, longer term bond versus overnight lending that you'll see. So all that to be said, rates have been kind of holding yesterday mortgage rates got a little bit better and we're seeing jobs data out today that are also starting to help rates because we're seeing things that are deflationary where rates will come down with. We've also been talking to you about May 10th. May 10th is coming up next week and May 10th is where we get that CPI report that has, it's, it's the Fed's favorite measure of looking at where we at on inflation. And we expect that the numbers are gonna be very favorable, favorable for bonds and that we're gonna see rates start to decline from May 10th through the rest of the year. So we could see rates from the low to mid fives. I mean, granted, nobody has a crystal ball, nobody knows for sure, but we could see that low to mid five number, who knows, by the end of the summer. So we're gonna see that slide start coming up next week and hopefully through the rest of the year as these inflationary numbers drop, regardless of what the Fed does on their decisions every month.